Well, hi, Frugal Frank back again. If you see my latest video dealing with how to make salad dressing, then I had said I was going to have a salad with my supper. And at that time, it was 20 minutes to four. And I have the start of the show a frozen roast, frozen beef roast. Um, and yet, I'm planning on having supper tonight. Yes, I am. I'm going to be cooking it in the Instant Pot. You can place a roast in there. Uh, frozen roast, no problem. This roast is three and a half pounds. So I'll put the timer on for an hour and a half. And that should be finished by then. And then five minutes. <clears throat> I'll set five minutes up for my vegetables. And I'll have the full supper tonight. Vegetables and roast. So what we do, we'll put a one and a half cup of beef stock. Now this is Kenora beef stock. I have none left. That's the last bit. So I put in a little bit of vegetable stock as well, organic vegetable stock. So that's in there as well. So that's beef and organic vegetable stock. It'll go in the bottom of the Instant Pot. The roast goes in on top. 90 minutes, it should be done. So once I get this in the pot, I'll show you what it looks like. So we're back. So I have it placed in the Instant Pot with a cup and a half of the stock in there as well. I have to admit, this roast looks pretty sad. This is the first roast that I have not vacuum packed in I don't know how long, and I can see why I vacuum packed, because if I had left this roast for another month, I don't think it would be edible. So let's see what it tastes like after when I get it done at least. If nothing else, it'll make good gravy, right? So we'll put it on for 90 minutes like I mentioned. And after when that's done, I'll take the lid off and I'll show you what it looks like at that point. So the timer went off 25 minutes ago. I just let it sit for a natural pressure release. Now let's see what it looks like. Aha. Remember what it was like? It was frozen solid. Now it's not that way. So what I'm going to do is just put the, these vegetables in there with it. Put it on for five minutes for pressure. Once it comes up to pressure, five minutes, it'll be all done. Everything. Then I can take everything out, make some gravy, and have supper. Should be having supper, I'd say, by maybe quarter after six or so. Not bad. Okay, so the vegetables are done. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, they look good. Let's give it the old fork test. Oh, yeah. Oh, beauty. Yep, all done. Even the... Oh, yeah. Excellent. So there you have it. All I've got to do now is just take it out of the pot, put it in the the bowl and feast so it's not that bad it's only 25 after 6 I started at about 4 o'clock roughly so frozen roast vegetables nothing cooked but yet I can plate it and have it on I can have it on the table by 630 if I really try so the next thing I have to do is do the gravy maybe we'll make a small video of that so just bring in the liquid up to boiling. I've got some Worcestershire sauce. Throw a bit of that in. I like that taste. I have some gravy, browning, and seasoning mix. This is fantastic stuff. It makes the gravy taste good, but also it darkens it. And we'll stir this up a little bit. Boom, stir this up. Here we go. Here it goes. Well, maybe I'll put a little bit more bring up browning in it. Gravy browning. Okay. That looks good. There you go. Okay. Now, put a little bit of slurry in. Let's see how that goes. I'm going all over the place here in this video. <laughs> oh, not bad. Not bad. It's doing okay. Oh, not quite. 
quite as thick as I like it though. Let's try it a little bit more. That'll be good once it's boiling up. Oh yeah, here it goes. It's starting to thicken already. By the way, the meat and vegetables are done perfectly. The meat was done so much, so good, that it's just flaking right up, right apart. Frozen and flaking right apart. See, sometimes you can be frugal with not just what you spend, but also the time, the amount of time that you put into something. Be frugal with your time. It's always valuable. Anyway, I'm going to continue to nurse this along, see if I can get this gravy the way I like it. Anyway, that's it for supper tonight. That'll last me for three or four meals, I would think. Um, maybe some uh, hot beef sandwiches. Uh, gravy over french fries I'll make in the air fryer. And that sort of thing. So, have a great meal yourself. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Frugal Frank saying thanks again for watching. Doo-doo-doo.